Hey, what's up, sports fans? It's your boy, Big Game James, host of Big Game Sports Buzz. And before we get started, don't forget to check out Big Game Sports Buzz and the Chop Shop on Big Game Entertainment. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and on YouTube. Make sure you tune in, check us out. Do me a favor, Will Smith that bell. All right. Anyway, I woke up this morning strolling through the Twitter universe, and I saw an interesting tweet. It said that, the Golden State Warriors uh, are making the playoffs, and they had to play games without Steph, games without Draymond, and games without Clay. And it was in reference to the Los Angeles Lakers being knocked out of the playoffs and dealing with injuries. I don't think that's a fair comparison. Um, by no means am I coming on here trying to save the Lakers, and they're underachieving this season, but let's be realistic. One team is just that, a team a team that's been put together that intricate parts can come off the bench. They have a deeper bench. They can make plays. Let's be honest. Besides maybe the five starters and other big names, there's, it's hard for a lot of people to name other players on the Lakers team. They don't have any depth. And so now a team that was set up to be a front runner based solely on their star power, would need those stars to play an entire season. We know that didn't happen. AD got the nickname Street Clothes. LeBron, even while hurt, played well at times, but then had to take some games off to rest his ankle. Um, Melo is old. Melo's not that guy anymore. And an APB has been put out for Russell Westbrook because his play has been sporadic and all over the place all season. Needless to say, the Lakers did not make the playoffs. And everybody's saying that this is horrible. It's going to tarnish LeBron James' legacy. I don't think it does that. Um, now, I'm old school. So if you ask me a GOAT debate, my GOAT debate is going to come down between, honestly, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, and then LeBron James. So don't think I'm getting on here trying to save LeBron James. But I don't think what he's done in the game of basketball can be written off because of a poor season, because poor depth and a poor roster was really put together. Everyone looked at the front part of this roster thinking it was great, but realistically, it wasn't because it had no depth. It had no one that could come in and play great off the bench. No one that could sustain the level if LeBron had to take a break or had to take a rest once street clothes Davis got hurt. It is what it is, and it's unfortunate for Laker fans and the NBA who sold the Lakers big time at the beginning of the season. We know how this goes every year with different teams and different franchises. The NBA will get on board with the team, and they'll push them out there in front of everybody. The Lakers came up short. I understand that. I just want to see your comments in the chat about what it is the problem was with the Lakers. And is this a fair comparison to the Golden State Warriors making the playoffs with a hurt superstar lineup compared to the Lakers having so many injuries? I don't think it's a fair comparison. Everyone's going to have a different opinion. I want to hear yours. Remember, it's your boy, Big Game James, host of Big Game Sports Buzz and the Sports Chop Shop on Big Game Entertainment. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter at JKN97 at BG Sports Buzz. Remember, whoosh, Will Smith that bell for me. Appreciate you.